All right, so let's see what else we've got here. Uh, bowling. I'm curious what kind of bowling game this is. That looks like a legit game for sure. Probably nothing like Wii Sports Bowling. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, man, it's going to be a gutter. Well, actually, no. Holy crap, that's a good throw. All right, buzz pulling for you. <laughs> All right. I figured that one's going to be pretty obvious, but, yeah, we're almost through the list, man. We've got Space Hunter. I've never heard of that one. Let's check that one out. Transformers, that's the, or Transformies. Uh, that's the Japanese Transformers game, I'm sure, that never came out in the U.S. Space Hunter. I guess it's a Japanese game, if, uh, uh, for some reason, whoa, this is a weird-ass game. What the fuck is that? It is a funky-ass game, dude. What the hell is going on? It's like an outer space game of some type, I don't know. I mean, obviously it's an outer space game, but what I mean by that, whoa, what the fuck, why is there a Stalin face there? That was weird. Why did it wait that long to blow up? This is a fucked up game, dude. This game is messed up. This part is, like, completely different. It's weird. It's like a Zelda slash Bomberman game. That's the best way I could put it. That's what this feels like. I don't know. It's stupid, though. All right. So let's see what else we got here. So that was that list there. Uh, let's go ahead and check out Karaki. Oh, the Karate Kid, of course. <laughs> Karaki. That makes sense. Everybody loves Karate Kid. I think I used all my D kicks or whatever. Yeah. Or maybe I didn't. Okay. Oh, well, here's the semi-final round. Sucka! Now we get to the final round. Yeah, this tournament is ridiculously easy. It's, it's nonsense easy, dude. But, dude, this is, like, one of my favorites for the NES, like, as far as, like, I don't know, it's like one of those games that it's unfairly, uh, bashed for some reason. But that said, I was actually, I had some good times with the AVGN episode. Okay, so let's do the, uh, chopsticks fly catch. I actually forgot how to do this. Oh, yeah, you just gotta line him up, kind of. Hard to do it on an LCD TV like this, man. Because uh, it has a weird skewing, but I got them all. So I guess it wasn't that hard. <laughs> I was able to do it just fine. Alright, let's do this. I'm not going to play the whole game or nothing like that. We're just going to play just a little bit, you know? Because Karaki. That's what it is in, J in, in Japan, at least. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's how you do it without using the power-up. you got to hold, like, a direction to use it without the power-up. And there's, like, never a reason to use punches in this game. It's just like... It's like every motherfucking... Yeah, nobody knows how to do the swing and hammer. <laughs> Swing hammer is the worst one.
Actually, this was the very first uh, Let's Play I ever watched of uh, Billy MC. Everybody knows him. Yeah, not bad. We did all right. As long as you get a few crane kicks and drum punches, that helps. And those actually give you a little bit of health, too, when you grab those. So that's always helpful. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why, but they do. Can't get in there. Oh, well. It's really funny about LJN Games. This is, like, one of their first games. And the quality of their games just kind of... Dived. Like, when they first came out, they weren't that bad. But their quality just slowly went down. Like, they, like, oh, we're not crappy game makers? We gotta become that. We gotta become the crappy NES game makers. <laughs> yeah. That's... Got plenty of crane kicks and drum punches, though, so we're doing good. Okay. They're basically just more powerful variations of the attacks you already have, so... Crap. Grab that. There's a ton of freaking mini-games. I forgot how many mini-games there was in this. Yeah, well, I made one. That's very time-intensive, dude. That is ridiculously time-intensive. It's a good thing that this particular uh, LCD TV I have doesn't have severe input lag problems. Yeah, that boss is ridiculously easy, dude. But yeah, that's Karate Kid, dude. It's a good game. I like it. Let's check out what Kid Deal is. Hector, playing interference. Or interface. Cadillac. It's a Japanese game of some type. Okay, 1,509. I don't know what the hell the rest of this shit is. Is it some kind of gambling game? Oh, it is. Wait, what? It's a Tetris style card game. Holy crap. That's insane, man. Like, that's some messed up crap. Like, who was, who was thinking that that was a good idea? I don't know, man. I guess not a bad idea, but... It's just so weird. But it's actually a pretty interesting concept, because you can match the kings, or I'm sure you can match the twos. As well as, the, obviously, the suits. Ah, oh, crap. That's not what I meant to do. Go ahead and match that up here. Might as well match up just in case we don't make it. Another two. Man, if we could somehow clear that up. Ace of Spades, hells yeah. The music is absolutely atrocious, but you know what? Oh, it's just fucking seven, son of a bitch. <laughs> well, you get the idea. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, let's see what Water Pip is. Water Pip! <laughs> oh, jeez. Is this like... I, I have no idea what it is, actually. It's like a fucking Tetris game, though. Let's plug up that water. Oh, this is like a Tetris plumbing game, apparently. That's kind of weird. I can't do anything with that, so we'll just do this. I'm not really sure what the objective is, though. That's the thing. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Ugh. Yeah, I guess... This? <laughs> I suppose. Yeah. Coffee break. That's funny. Alright, what's quarterback? I'm sure it's John Elway's quarterback. Yep, we don't need to see that. 
Everybody's seen that game before. Karate Champ, that's a crappy one. King's Knight. Die Sack Yukasin, I'm not sure what that is. Character Soft. Okay. Apparently we're playing as Charlie Brown. I guess. Actually, I don't know what this is. What's the objective? Is there an objective? Am I supposed to touch the ghost at all? No? Touching the ghost is bad. Okay, what else are we supposed to do then? I guess turn the game off. Got Venice Beach Volleyball, Sanrio Carnival. That's definitely not a game in the U.S. Oh, that's actually the same little kid. So it's a Hello Kitty character. Apparently, this is a Hello Kitty game. How many motherfucking puzzle games are on this cartridge? <laughs> this is hilarious. Here's just this crap load of freaking puzzle games. This one's like a good one, I guess, for kiddos and whatnot, because it's very simple, big, giant things. Yeah, it's dumb. Alright, there's Sky Kid, Pon Pon Village, don't know what that is. Another Japanese game. Taylor played as duck people. Or geese people or something. I don't know. They got giant necks. Maybe they're probably geese. They're a Hello Kitty game. So I guess we got an assortment of Hello Kitty games here. I guess ASCII is making all the Hello Kitty games. Okay, the comp computer can be the frog. Kermit. Alright. <laughs> it's round one, I guess. Whatever that means. Okay, it looks like we're playing a... A... Kick volleyball game or something? Or I guess it's kick tennis? I don't know what's... I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Apparently Hello Kitty sucks at this game though, so... Or at least I do. I guess they got a point, oh, because yeah, you can't kick, kick it twice or something, probably. Oh yeah! Suck it, frog! Son of a. I have no idea how to play this game, man. That frog sprite is just so cute. Everything in Hello Kitty is so cute. Suck it, frog! Ha! <laughs> That's right. They cheer for me, not you. Aw, oh, man! Well, that's actually, it's actually kind of a fun game. If you can believe it, you know? It has some interesting mechanics to it. Uh, let's see what uh, Sanyu 1 is. Guess we'll check out all the Sanyus, might as well. They made five of them, so they gotta be good. Or at least some of them gotta be good. Uh, okay. <laughs> Apparently it's a math game. <laughs> That's right. Five plus two equals seven, people. Definitely better than Donkey Kong Jr. math. Holy crap. That game, like, you had to be a freaking, you know, trigonometrist to figure out that game, right? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I, I just don't understand. Plus 75 is not a math equation. I can't believe it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go back to like several episodes ago where I played Donkey Kong Jr. Math. This game is a lot more fun. But it's still for like five-year-olds, so we're done. I mean, if you're five, that's cool. You should, probably shouldn't be watching my videos if you're five, though, because I... Apparently there's another one. Is it the same kind of game? I don't think so. Uh, 
Oh shit, it is! 32 plus 3! Ha <laughs> ha! So it's now like, it's still a math game, but it's like combining that with RPG elements, like RPG battling. That's great, you win the fight by getting the equation right. That's brilliant, dude. Dude, I would have loved to have been a Japanese kid back then, dude. I would have loved this kind of game, for sure. Been good to learn with. Yep. Might as well check out the other Sanyu games. Oh, if I don't bypass them, that is. Sanyu 3, or, San, or Sansu 3, my bad. The menu looks the same. 28 divided by 4. Well, shoot. Let's go uh, do that. Apparently, can't just... Okay, I don't know why I'm selecting the... Wait, is 28... No, that's not right. Well, wait. No, that is right. Why is it... Wait, am I supposed to get him to bomb the answer or something, maybe? <laughs> maybe that's my problem. No, I, I don't know why it didn't work last time, man. Whatever. Ugh. Yeah, whatever. It's not as good as number two. Two is better, for sure. I'm all about the Sansu 2. Let's check out Sansu 4. Oh, now we're talking here. Oh, wait, never mind. Looks like that menu screen looked a lot like, uh... Let's see, 34 divided by 155... Where's the numbers for that? Oh, okay, this is really... Did I die? Why did I die? <laughs> uh, that doesn't make any sense. I couldn't even see what the number was. So what I... Stab that uh, uh, Moba's blob looking thing. Apparently, I can't. He is. He is not corporeal. He is definitely very ghost like. I can't figure out where to go now. I went inside a door before. I don't know why I can't go in one now. Yeah. Sansu 4 sucks. Alright, and let's check out the last of the Sansu um, Quintrilogy or whatever it would be called. Oh, this is a shmup one now. Where is the motherfucking math problems at? This is not a Sansu game. I am disappointed. <laughs> is the math problems after I like, shoot the spaceships or what? Or are you like, oh, well, you know, kids don't actually like math. We'll just make a fucking shmup. <laughs> Because the NES doesn't have enough of those, apparently. <laughs> I am disappointed. Sansu number five is not the game we were looking for, people. Come on, there's got to be, there's gotta be some math problems coming up here. Okay, now we got the freaking map. 549 uh, times 3.9? What? Holy crap, dude. Now we're getting some complicated crap here. Let's think about this here. <laughs> okay, so 549. Let's figure out what that is uh, by 400. Or by 4. So, let's see. 2,000. And, uh... I'm trying to think of this off the top of my head here. While I'm playing the video game and trying to dodge projectiles. Mind you. Uh, so, 49 times 2 is 98. And so that would be 196. So 2196. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Then where are they? Where are they getting the numbers from? 549 times 3.9 is not 4,900 or whatever they're talking about, dude. 
This is a broken math equation. I guess I'll go to this. No. Nope. I just have to guess because this answer doesn't make sense. No, that's not it. I guess we gotta keep... Oh, I, I freaking died. Yeah, screw this one. Okay, now we're getting to the end of the list here. Shockwave, I'm not sure what that is actually. Okay, that's, yeah. Ugh. It's an American Games cartridge. Just one of those crappy, uh, um, unlicensed games from back in the day. I'm sure some of these are going to be probably Tiles of Fate is too. Yep, Tiles of Fate is. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, we got two Super Eye Uzumu. Oh, it's Tecmo. Okay, it can't be that bad. A sumo wrestling game, maybe? Oh, shoot. Yeah, sumos. Hell yeah. This will be fun, I think. Yeah! Suck it! Oh, yeah! Woo! Gotta bear hug him to death! Oh, yeah! Woo! That's my kind of game, man. This is a game I wish we would have got, dude. This is actually kind of fun. I would have totally played a sumo game as a kid. I am kind of butt mashing it, but, but I, I can clearly tell there are actual mechanics you can do. Like, there's actual attacks and things like that. So it's actually really cool. Because you can also punch him and shit like that, you know, so... Oh, yeah! Holy crap! <laughs> uh, so, uh, I gotta find out what the name of that game is. I'll have to check out my ROMs list here. Uh, to Super Eye Uzumu. Okay. We got Densetsu. Let's see what that is. Namcot presents... Zyphal something. Uh, it's an RPG of some type. But I'm assuming it's probably a password-based game, because none of the games on this uh, cartridge have a save battery. Well, it's, I guess, more like an arcade game. Namco wasn't really known to make RPGs back then. I guess maybe they made this game under the hopes that people that played RPGs back then be like, Oh, this game looks like an RPG, I'll play that, because they don't have Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest in their games. So, uh, probably why they made this one. And they apparently love ripping off music from, like, Indiana Jones or some crap. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> apparently that was the theme back then with uh, Japanese role-playing games. Using Indiana Jones music, like freaking Hydelide, for example. <laughs> Good times. Alright, let's check out Cosmos Cop. Oh, this is, um... I think this is one of those, uh, unlicensed... Can't skip this at all. You can tell us by the freaking sound effect. It can't be an official game. Okay, graphics ain't too bad. Um, controls are. Well, it's not like there's a problem with the controls. The controls are fine. They like, they work and everything. They're functional. They're responsive. But the depth of perception and things like that are really terrible. Like, you can't tell when something's gonna hit you or not. I mean, Space Harrier, this is not. Although, even that game wasn't really the best. At least it was somewhat acceptable in that regard. This is just, like, really, uh, it's really hard to determine where things are coming from there. Plus, those, like, ones that split into four, they almost seem like they heat seek to you. Whatever, it's stupid. Let's check out Bar Games. For amusement only. Oh, that's what video games are for, usually. 
Oh, no, this is literally a bar game. Like, this is a game you would play at a bar, like one of those little machines that they have that are like slot machines, kind of. Yeah, screw it. Okay, I got Buggy Popper. That's not a real game. I don't know, maybe it is. I never heard of it. I'm not sure what A or B does, but A does a jump. Oh, yeah, yeah, freaking Mark from Classic Game Room covered this game. Yeah. I forget what they actually called it, though. Maybe it was called Buggy Popper. But you're like a car that freaking jumps and shit, man. It's awesome. And you can crush cars by jumping onto them. Yeah, this game actually looked really cool. I'm glad I uh, got this game as part of this cartridge, because uh, I was wanting to check it out. Okay, we got Lima Shinyan, or Shindian. Okay, Mario. Looks like Mario, at least. Okay, I, I I guess I don't understand. Uh, I mean, I won clearly. I, I have more money now, I think, than yeah. So I got a thousand and forty by hitting the watermelon. I guess. So let's move on, game. Huh. Well, you know what I like to do when I go to the casino? I like to quit while I'm ahead. Alright, we got Metal Fighter, Pipe Dream, Atlantis. I'm not sure what that is. Let's check it out. The Japan. J Japan. Japan. It's a Japan only game, looks like. Oh, a treasure chest. Huh. So I guess if you ever play Atlantis, uh, you know where to get the secret treasure. Get 500 points. And you can toss bombs. Yeah, that one only gave you a hundred. I don't feel one bit threatened. I don't think there was any time that my character was ever threatened with any kind of uh, villainry. So this is apparently a Sunsoft game. This was before they made good games, I guess. <laughs> yeah, suck it. Oh, that's why ain't too bad, I guess. It could be worse. Let's just jump over him, I guess. Never mind. Whatever. That's Atlantis for you. Cybernoid, City Connection, Choplifter, Twin B, Legend of Cage, or Kage, whatever. Dr. Mario, Goonies, Gyrus, and Star Force 2. I'm not really familiar with this one. Oh, okay. Actually, I am. Never mind. All right, so I think that's going to be it uh, for this episode. We're going to do one final episode. We've looked at pretty much all the different games, like the ones that we had no idea what they were and all this stuff, you know. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to make a selection, a personal selection of my favorites that are on this cartridge. Like, they're the reasons that you should consider getting this cartridge if you don't have official carts in your library firm already, that is. And uh, if you just want to be able to play it on your actual NES system. So we'll go ahead and uh, go over that in just a bit. 
Uh, but yeah, till then, down Phoenix out.